Hello, this is Florian Brugala and this is Carlos. And today we are going to check out the piezo or piezo or whatever that is pronounced. So here we have the piezo or piezo or I really need to check how that is pronounced. Okay, just to get this out of the way first. Piezo. Piezo, okay. It is a cable attached to a weird little thing. I think it acts like as a microphone or something. And I got some stickers from Chair Audio, the developer of Excite Snare and Excite Symbol. They actually sent me this and I had no idea why, but I just said, okay, let's go. But what even is a piezo and why was I sent a piezo? These are the questions that we deal with in this video. And also I'm wearing my Synth 1 t-shirt which is nice. Around a year ago was when I released a plugin review of the plugin Excite Snare Drum by Chair Audio. I described it as an actionally reasonable snare synth. I remember the reason for that was that I was usually not excited, haha, <laughs> pun intended, about snare synthesizers because most of them just combine white noise with a sine oscillator for the fundamental frequency. But this one was different because it uses physical modeling. Anyway, they contacted me in response to that and gave me the pro version of Excite Snare. And the pro version differs from the normal version, especially in that regard that you can use a sidechain input instead of MIDI inputs to excite the internal synthesis. And that gives you a much bigger variety of sounds that you can create with it because now you can just send any kind of impulse into it and it will react. So I made the Excite Snare Drum Pro test video in which I tested these capabilities with lots of different sounds but none of this was the intended way of the developer because I didn't have a piezo. And now recently like some weeks ago or something they released their second plugin Excite Symbol Pro which as you can see I also made a video about it in which I was reamping drums through Excite Symbol Pro so I took basically some real drums, sent them into an instance of Excite Symbol Pro and just used that as a reamp track to add another flavor to the entire drum set. And then I made another video about Excite Symbol in which I used it together with Tor Vocoder to morph multiple sounds into each other. But still, none of this was the intended way of using Excite Symbol or Excite Snare. And the developer just decided that it's time to give me a piezo so that I can finally do it the intended way. Okay, so before attaching this gorgeous piezo to my audio interface, we need to be clear about what even is a piezo. I watched a video about that yesterday so that I'm not totally stupid right now. And I will link it in the description because the person who made that video is definitely more knowledgeable about this than me with way more knowledge about electrics and hardware in general. But here is my personal little description of what it does. It is basically a little bit of a membrane attached to a bit of a different surface so that when this other surface is being sticked to objects and then you hit the object then you are exciting the object and this excitation is being transferred onto the membrane as well which makes it vibrate. And because there is a cable attached to this membrane, for some reason, that translates it into electric energy. That can be recorded, just like a microphone. We are going to check it out now. Time to open up the piezo and use it. Guitar line in. When I'm touching it right now, it already produces sound. It is sort of a little microphone, as you've seen earlier. And yeah, this is how it sounds. Oh wow, that was crunchy. I decided that my first experiment is going to be attaching the piezo to this abacus and just trying to find out how it sounds when all of these pearls slowly run down and then crash into the wall. So let's press record so that you can also hear the results at the end. It's time to finally check what the plugins do. So let's press record. Here we have Excite Symbol. And the piezo is attached to a cooking pot.
really nice. Attaching the piezo to something that is not exactly flat wasn't really possible. So I just did it like this. I think it still works. And this time I have used Excite Snare for it. Let's just hit record on this thing. Let's go. Now this has more of a decaying sound because glass also has a sound that decays a little bit more in general. We could put something on top of the glass to make it decay a little bit less, I think. Oh, actually now it takes, it makes this thing resonate as well. Yeah, pretty cool. I was finally able to use Excite Snare and Excite Symbol in the intended way by using a piezo to excite the synthesizers. In conclusion, I must say that I do still love my own way of using these plugins, just sending any signal into the sidechain input, just hope for the best, especially when it's about reamping something like drums or whatever, to kind of get a different sound in addition to the sound that you already have into your project. That's definitely a cool way to use these plugins but now I also have this piezo with which I can use the plugin in the intended way. Maybe I can sometimes when I'm composing music then already just take out a drumstick and play a little bit of snare or cymbal. But I think there is even more to a piezo like this. I mean this is basically like a little impulse generator. You can use it to record impulses or like what the material of the thing that you are recording with is all about. I was always wondering wondering about these kind of things because you can record really small sounds with it. One problem that I always had with actual microphones is that they are not made for really small little sounds, for these really quiet ones. It's always getting very noisy and with a piezo it seems like these things are actually made for these kind of purposes. So this is a really powerful kind of microphone. Maybe one day I will even be able to record one of my cats powering with a piezo by just attaching it right next to them when they are sleeping somewhere. Who knows?